Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number 18 review of series number nine. Series number nine is premium pouches. And being that we are in the final stretch, I am running through the last couple Skull Blend products that come in pouches. And as you just saw moments ago, this will be a review of Skull Berry. So let's take a look at the packaging. So you got a metal can. You got a boxed raised rim in the U.S. smokeless fashion. It's in bronze along with the raised border of the letters of the word skull. The half circle going through the S and the L is also raised and in bronze. There is a slight raise between the upper and the warning label. I have figured out what's going on with the edge. In the last review, I was sure that it should have gone to an OD green from a yellowish green in the center of the citrus product, but I was a little surprised to find that it went to gray. It did not go to gray, it's just that the gray was very close to the OD green. These products in the middle, for this one, it is a metallic purple. There's no mistaking it. It fades to dark towards this bronze half circle that goes around. On all of these blend products, between the bronze half circle and the outer boxed raised band is a gunmetal gray that has nothing to do with the fading, okay? It's fading from the center out to here. This over here, in between the two bron bron <laughs> Whoa. bronze bands, is, uh, is gunmetal gray on all of them, all right? It's a real, real dark gray. Going to the side banding, this is a can that's going to be out of date by the end of February. Thus, we still have their online giveaway, which actually ended seven days ago. It ended on the 20th. So that's what all this is about. It's got the Scrunch US Smokeless Warning label basically going around the whole deal. It's got information about the contest itself, barcode, and then general information and the manufacturer's information. So the manufacturer's information is that this is a product of the U.S. smokeless tobacco company of Nashville, Tennessee, the makers of Skoll, Copenhagen, Red Seal, and Husky, all right? The general information is the fact that sale is only allowed in the United States, that it is 100% American tobacco, that underage sale is prohibited, and the fact that this product is smokeless tobacco. I still not quite sure why Skull needs to point that out, but they do. Um, on the back, you have the normal guaranteed fresh stamped can, and the sell by date is February 24th, 2019. So I'm going to cut right into this. Um, I like berry stuff. So I'm hoping this goes a little bit better, but I have not had this product in years. And I have a feeling that my tastes may have changed in those years. Um, I say that because although it was never a favorite of mine, the citrus used to play better with me. And as you saw from the last review, that did not go over well with me at all. So, can is open. I have moisture on the lid, which you are definitely not going to be able to pick up, but I'll, since I've mentioned it, I'll try. It's over by the S, underneath the S, actually. The product, I can smell. It's a very strong, um, I, I would say berry. Um, I think what would be closest to it smell wise would be 
candy, gum, anything along those lines that is um, marketed as wild berry, sort of like a melange of berries. It's not bad. I am a little surprised how strong it is, though. It's, it's a pretty... The pouches are very, very moist, though, so that might have something to do with it. It's not a bad smell. Uh, it may remind you of a certain type of candy, a certain type of gum, you know. But here's the thing. It might remind you of, like, an artificial candy flavor. But at least it doesn't remind me of an all-purpose cleaner. Which, you know. So, I'm going to have to fluff these up because, as I said, I don't know if you notice when I've showed these cans, there's very little room in these cans. Uh, there may be room for one more pouch, like, over here. But the Skull cans seem very full. Uh, they have the same count, 15, as the Copenhagen products, but the Copenhagen products seem to have a lot of room in them. So, the product is very moist. You can see differentiating in the pouch that's just wet tobacco inside coming in full contact with the pouch material I'm gonna hit the pause button and I'll be back in a minute and I am back okay opinion my opinion this is infinitely better tasting than the citrus okay i don't know what they were shooting for for the citrus but i it, it didn't go to where they should have wanted it this has ended up this product has ended up probably as they foresaw it from the beginning is this going to be for everybody no and i say that because this is coming in right behind the citrus on the online hate spiels that you say. Uh, Barry has a lot of non-fans. I am not one of them. In general, I don't fall into, you know, trash talk. Now, through this channel, I have definitely given thumbs down to a number of products. But that was just... Those products were so bad, it was more of a disgust. You know, I, I, I don't smack talk a product just because, you know, I think it's going to play well with viewers. But people do smack talk this a lot, and I don't really see why. Uh, the citrus, I can sort of see that. I don't agree with them saying everything about it the way they do, but I can see it. I, I, I can see where it's coming from. This, not so much. The smell is stronger than the taste. Now, when I opened that up, I was a little surprised about how potent the smell was. And it seemed a little bit overdone, I'm going to be honest. The taste is not proving the same way. It's, it, it's reeled in a little bit. Not saying there's much tobacco flavor underneath, but there is something, and I'm, I'm guessing it's going to have to be tobacco. I mean, what else, you know? Um, it's a mix. It's a berry mix. It's not one thing or another. It's just, as I said, candy, gum, whatever labeled as wild berry. You can't really pick out any certain berry. It's just a mix of flavors. Um, I think this is good. Uh, you know, I don't think I could dip it every day, but I mean, I don't think anybody's dipping these blended products every day. Maybe some people are. I don't know. But it's in the traditional pouch. It's not in the flavor flow pouch. Um, it tastes all right to me. Now, I like berry stuff. So maybe I'm, um, you know, I'm leaning in its favor because of that. If you don't like berry stuff, don't buy the dip called berry blend obviously um but i like berry stuff and i and that's the thing i like citrus stuff too uh, i'd never be able to get through all these dry snuffs if i didn't like citrus but that was yeah that was something else 
Um, the nicotine with this is there. I'll probably leave it in through the upload and whatnot. It's not going to be terribly strong at all. Um, it'll be stronger than, let's say, the Skull Long Cut Cherry, but uh, I, I doubt it's at the level of like the Winter Green or the Mints or anything like that. Packaging, as always in this premium series, quality packaging. No complaints there, obviously. Um, flavor, I, I can, I like it. As a change, as I said, I, I wouldn't, you know, it, it, it'll be, it might not be a couple more years, but it'll be a number of months before I buy any berry, well, no, I gotta do the long cut review, because I am buying berry again. Okay, besides the one for the review that I'm gonna have to buy, it'll probably be like, you know, another eight months to a year before I bought another can. But, completely tolerable, I'll probably use this can up. Starts juicing up, takes a little while because of the regular pouches and the way the tobacco is packed in the pouch. And the pouch is very full, okay? Uh, they do come out a little flat, but that's just because they're compressed inside the packaging when they're manufactured. So, all in all, I'll give it a thumbs up. I mean, if you like berry, fruit, berry, general flavors, you might want to give it a try. Um, you know, normally I would buy the long cut version, but I mean, if you can find the stuff real cheap because it's in pouches, the pouches in my area tend to be cheaper than the long cut variants. Uh, varying degrees, but the, there is a price differential. Now, I am in a metropolitan area, though, and as I've said before, some things are priced real goofy around here. But it's 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 a berry flavored dip. It's something for a switch up every once in a while. Something to, you know, realign your taste buds just, you know, to give you maybe even just a better appreciation of what your normal every day is. But it's all right. In, in that... In that scenario, in my mind, this is this is all right. Um, flavor's all right. Nicotine, you know, it's not great, but it's there. Packaging's good. Pouches, they take a little bit longer. I, I still prefer the flavor flow, but the, the, the normal ones, there's nothing wrong with them. It, it, they just take longer to juice up. So this has been the review of Skull Berry Tobacco Blend pouches i am the suit and tie dip and chew guy i'd like to say hello and thank you to oki outdoors 24 wesley decker and pat reestman all one word pat reestman guys i do thank you all right uh as always do check out berg's dip reviews winnington outdoors 30 Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee, 83. If you're into gaming stuff, there is Real Talk Studios. And if you are interested in information on a snooze product, go to snoozefreak.com. You will be met with a bunch of videos. You will probably have to pick out the product by picture and maybe the name. And the video itself will be in German. But if you ask a question in the English in the comment section of whatever video of whatever product you're interested in, he will respond to you in English. As always, I hope everyone is well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.